What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are getting ready to do our second piece that we are doing for the dually for uh, the truck poles that are tomorrow. Um, well, by the time you guys see this video, most likely the truck poles have already happened. Um, hopefully we do good. Um, we are working on the dually again here and we are doing a River City Diesel billet low pressure oil pump. Um, the reason for it is because when we pulled the last time, uh, we hit 4,000 RPMs like that. And yeah, that's when the low pressure oil pump gears like to explode. It's mainly the inner gear. Um, it, it comes apart and then it destroys your front cover. And um, well, those front covers are currently on a back order and they are also very expensive and they're not fun to do. So <laughs> we're gonna try and prevent that um, by putting in a set of these billet low pressure oil pump gears. Um, and then when we hit 4,000, we don't have to let out. We can we can keep in it. We have to tear apart the front end of this truck and get to our crank balancer. Let's flip the camera around though and show off this cool little part. Now I've done a handful of these. Um, I've done the Warren Diesel pump and I've done the River City pump. Um, I think bang for the buck, I, I really like the RCD setup. Um, it comes with more things that you'll need um, in, to, in order to do the installation. And, you know, they still have a lifetime explosion guarantee. So, um, basically, this is an OEM outer gear. Uh, this is not the one that likes to explode. It's this middle gear um, that's the one that likes to just go kaboom. It does come with a new pump cover, which is nice. And then a couple of dowels here as well. And then, of course, it does come with um, some crank balancer bolts. Uh, from ARP. So these are bolts specifically made for River City Diesel and their specific setup. Um, so that's kind of cool. And so, yeah, we're going to have this as a little bit of an upgrade as well. The one thing that it doesn't come with, which I don't know why, but it doesn't come with a new front crank seal. Um, so you can see here, that is the part number you guys will need for the front crank seal. It's got the wear sleeve in it, um, of course, OEM. And then we also have the installer uh, tool right there from Ford to go ahead and press that in. I don't know if the factory one will have a wear sleeve. Um, I can't remember if I did a front crank seal on this truck or not, uh, but generally from the factory, I don't think they come with a wear sleeve. So, so we can transition over to here. We got some of our coolant drained out uh, because we have to remove our fan shroud, our fan and our stator, um, which is the inside piece that bolts to the front there. And once we get all that stuff out, we should have enough room to get the bolts out of the crank balancer. And from there, it's it's actually not too bad. So um, we're gonna get started. So I wanted to pause the video real quick to talk about what we found with our old gears and a couple of things to look for um, if you're going to do something like this. Uh, there's a couple of things to just look at, at least, at a minimum. So, um, And then one real quick important part is we're going to go back together and we've got some assembly grease um, that we're going to put into the front cover and then we're going to lube the crap out of our low pressure oil pump gears with this stuff um, and then fill like the little pockets between the gears as well. So. A lot of this is going to end up inside of there, but um, that's going to help it build low pressure oil when we go to start this thing. So um, <clears throat> you want to look at your front cover. Uh, once you get your gears out, 
You're going to want to look at the front cover. I, I just stuck my phone down there to snap a couple of pictures. I'll throw those up, those up real quick. And what you'll see is that the front cover looks undamaged, okay? Um, there might be some light scuff marks, um, but outside of that, looks beautiful. Um, looking at our pump gears, so we can see, see that little mark on each one right on the top of the lobe? So there's that one little mark, that's it. Other than that, these things are, these things are beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and get these installed and pack that full of that assembly lube and then uh we'll slip these in my this truck it's never had the uh never had the front main ever done because it did not have a wear sleeve um just like like i suspected they don't come from the factory with a wear sleeve um but they do after that and um you'll see on the end of the crank i'm sure you guys already saw it um there is a little bit of a groove so that's what the this uh wear sleeve takes care of um and i usually put just a little bit of like soapy water on the outside of this seal and that's it um, nothing on the uh, sleeve here and no RTV nothing just a little bit of soapy water on the outside here that just gives it a little bit of lubrication um, you don't want to I don't typically use oil on the outside of this because um, we don't we don't want it to be slipping um, so we want to make sure that the soapy water just kind of it, it'll, it'll dry off where the oil um, can just get warm and it's lubricated so um, that's why I like to use soap water. But yeah, let's get going. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap up today's video. Um, I forgot to mention, we got new headlights, new fog lights, got some oracles going on. Uh, I think it looks pretty sweet. Truck looks good. Truck looks real good. So anyway, we are going down to the Centerville County Fairgrounds tomorrow for the truck pulls. We will be there. Uh, truck pulls start at three. Billet low pressure oil pump gears. We got BD uh, tap shifter. So we got torque converter lockup. We've got even a better class, farm stock class that we're gonna be running in. So um, I think we got a really good chance and I'm really excited and pumped about it. But it is getting late and we just put in some extra time today. So 
We're going to head back to the house, get some rest, and get ready for tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.